Welcome to this Gantt Excel tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can set parent and child relationships for tasks and milestones. You can set a child task with just a click of a button. Select the task that you want to set as a child and click Make Child button in the Gantt menu. This will set the task as a child task, and the task above it will be set automatically as a parent task. The child task is indented under the parent task. The parent task is automatically formatted in bold. The parent task is also shown as a two-sided arrow shape in the timeline. You will notice this clearly when I set the task duration of this child task to five days. There's another way to create a child task. Right-click the task and select the Make Task Child option in the context menu. This will set this task as a child task of architectural design. I'm going to go further. I will make this task a child task of create draft of architecture. This last method, and one of the easiest, is to use the shortcut key, Alt plus right arrow. When I use this shortcut key, the task is now set as a child of a child task. Please note that the work break structure is recalculated. Gantt Excel uses the standard hierarchical groupings. By convention, we use numbers and decimal points to indicate the level of the task. Moving ahead, let's set the next two tasks as child tasks and do the same for the milestone as well. Let's now talk about parent child roll up calculations date changes, percentage, percent complete changes, and cost calculations roll up from child tasks to parent tasks. Let me show you an example. I will double-click task 1.1.1's start date and set it to 21st July. I will also modify the milestone date to 5th August. You will now notice that the start and end dates of the parent task has been recalculated. The same roll-up calculations work for percent complete and costs. Let me randomly set the task percent complete for a few tasks to 100%, 50% and 25%, and you will notice that the percent complete for the parent task has updated from 0% to 44%. When you set parent and child tasks, you are essentially setting up the work breakdown structure. The WBS defines all the tasks a project needs to accomplish, organized into multiple levels, and displayed graphically. So, I hope you find this useful and you can adapt some of these features into your own project plan. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or feature requests, please share them in the comments below. Kindly like and share this video. Also, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.